Hey guys, Muzunko here, aka Wicked Charge MC, and today I'm doing a tutorial on async worlds. I already did a tutorial on this before, but that was, that was like my first video and it was really crappy, so I'm gonna do another one. Uh, basically, what this plugin does is uh, it, it makes, you know how world edit makes your server crash if you do like edit like tons and tons of blocks? This stops, this fixes that. It does the small chunks. Uh, constantly does like little one chunk here and the weights and then another chunk another chunk another chunk one at a time and then that way it, it it's not overloading the server with block update and stuff like that so it uh, makes your players happy while you're working on your spawn uh, clearing some land or just building something uh, I really like this plugin and I use it on all my servers including Infinity Glare, Majestic Network, uh, and just test servers and other servers that I work for. So to install this, you saw what I clicked, you go to the plugin link, it'll be in the description, and hit download now, and then you scroll down, and it, it just has a release notes right here, and then what you would get is asyncworldedit.jar, and asyncworldedit.injector.jar, you need both of those. I'm going to keep them both. And it actually has like um, support for a bunch of other plugins like Action Bar API, Action Messenger Bar API, Bountiful API, Plot Me, Plot Me Core, Plot Me Core, Title Manager, Welcome Title. Those are just some of them. I guess I, I guess that's just some of them. There's probably more of them in the other downloads below this, but those are some of this version. And this is the latest version. Right now it's on two two three zero, but it'll arm when you hit download, it'll automatically take you to the latest release. Now we're gonna show all downloads. Okay, and then I'm gonna move this to my test server. To install it, you go to your server, plugins, drag both here, and then you start the server and start Minecraft. Now the server started, I'm gonna connect. Let load. It might lag a bit because I'm recording my full screen that makes it lag a bit. So I'll just do some do it real quick. Okay, now we're in game, and now it's lagging significantly less. What I can do now, so I'm gonna get a wand. Hold on, server itself is lagging. Pretty helpful if you had the latest version of uh, World Edit. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so let's just do something. Oops. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So we have that. Bring it. Now let's go all the way over here. Now normally this would crash the server, even though the server is running with two gigs. This would normally crash the server. You think this would crash the server, right? Set diva. Okay. You see how, how this has changed? Usually it, it would just like instantly just put it and like crash the server and everything. Oops. I guess that's not a real block. Then Usually it would crash the server and everything, but it's not this time. See how it's doing little chunks at a time? And actually adjust how big the chunks are based on how much RAM you have available on your server and like how much uh, TPS and everything on, on your server. Uh, TPS is higher is better, so right now 14 is pretty bad right now. Um, and actually, see, see how? No lag, no lag. Now let's, let's just get some blocks. See? No block lag either. Everything's perfectly fine. And now it even says done. And the uh, uh, other additions for like say bar API and stuff like that, that would actually at the top, right? Uh, top uh, where my mouse is, my player head is following the player. <laughs> um, it would actually show a little Ender Dragon bar with bar API and it would actually adjust it according to how much time is left. And also this has a cool feature. If you do slash uh, AWE jobs, uh, job. AWE job. Um, on this, Wait, hold on. Ah, this one go. Hold on, it seems I'm not up. AWE jobs. Okay, now it says how many jobs you have available uh, when queued. So let's just slash undo. AWE jobs. It says you have that one queued. Now let's just do this. And then let's do this. Uh, oops, I don't, I don't want to break this. 
Okay, let's go up here. A set diamond. No. Gold block. And now it's gonna do this one at the same time as that. Hold on, that was pretty bad. So I'm just undo. Undo. And redo. And then redo again. And redo again. Uh, I guess I can't redo. Let's just do this again. So let's, let's do this with some bigger ones. Because that one went, went by too fast. Let's go down here. Second position. Set diamond block. And then up here we'll go up one. We'll go like up one. Set gold block. Ugh. Undo. Set gold block. See how fast it's finishing? Okay, now while that's working, it should set the gold blocks theoretically. Uh, oh no, it's, it's not going to do it at the same time, but it does it like one at a time, and it's off key, so it automatically does that. So right after this is finished, see, it's just chunk, chunk errors, it was uh, loading in, and that one already started right away. And see how it's not lagging at all? See, no lag at all. Flash help. See, no problem at all. Nothing is wrong. And it'll, it'll just never lag your server. It'll never crash your server. There's nothing to fear with this plugin. I love this plugin it's like dearly. This plugin is like a lifesaver, especially when you have a bunch of players in your server and you don't want to interrupt their playtime just because you're trying to uh, delete spawn, an old spawn or something. And it was like really big or something. Or you had to uh, make a platform, or you're making a mini game base, or something like that. You don't want to stop your players from playing, and just lag out the server, and that would piss off your players. Especially if your players are really low tempered. No, high tempered, I guess, actually. And they just give add low patience, and they'll leave after. Um, they would just won't come back if they leave, if the server is lagging. See how fast this is finishing? The, it actually slowed down. It's sl it slowed down like a lot because my server is like really laggy right now. I'm getting 18 TPS and I only have 16, uh, 1.6 gigs available. It's trying, like, it's trying its best not to lag because I have Minecraft running, the server running, and my recording software, and just a lot of stuff is going on at the same time. So it's trying not to lag anything. I could actually work on my computer and other stuff while this is actually happening. We'll just let this finish. It even says over here how many blocks queued, like how many blocks are left. It'll update. Watch. One. There you go. See how it was 45,107. Uh, now it's 43,975. Uh, and it says uh, that's how many blocks left. And this is how many average uh, blocks per second it's placing. And how many seconds on average it has left until it finishes the complete thing. My server is like lagging a lot right now, so. Uh, it's, it's going to take a really long time. And I guess this is also kind of a big chunk. And this doesn't just do uh, set block, undo, or redo. It even does importing schematics, uh, deleting stuff. Um, if you have the plot me thing, then when you're when people are in, if you have a creative plugin uh, such as plot me, it's just as a good plot me, and you have that plugin installed for async world edit, the injector for it. Um, uh, add on, add on, my bad, add on, then it'll actually make a generation of new plots for players um, easier. Like, it'll make it less resource intensive. Than server. Also, you know how it's doing the these bottom ones first, and then it finishes all of that instantly? Like, like, like this. See? That's because it has to do the shadow all the way down there, and that's kind of in intensive. So it takes a really, really long time because of that. For example, if I did this on the ground elsewhere, like that little block right there, then it would finish like really, really fast because it wouldn't have to do all the shadows. You can even can cancel current uh, queued jobs. AWE cancel. Uh, first, you gotta do AWE jobs and see the ID of it. Set block and cut. It's wait. The uh, cut is waiting. We're gonna do AWE cancel two and AWE cancel one. There you go. Now I just stopped in the middle of it. 
and yeah. So now it's not. Nothing's going on. AW jobs. Everything's gone. And I'll just show you the config now. In the config, you have two. Uh, uh, well, in the plugin folder, you have two things: the English.yml, which allows you to edit the words and colors and everything, and the config.yml, which actually has the config for the plugin. Now, I set, I changed some of this, I believe. Max jobs. I set it to 2,000. Um, max time. It's just like pretty self-explanatory. If you need help, then it just uh, explains it up here. File containing all the messages, debug messages, but you would probably um, pretty much only be interested in this one. So max jobs, and I think there's a few more that you'd be interested in. Um, uh, where else? And it actually says it, you can even disable. Um, what uh, AWE will edit. So if you say undo is going too slow, you're fine with undo just lagging the server out. Uh, so you can, and you just don't want to be uh, less server intensive because of AWE. So you could just remove it like that, and then it'll just and then save it, reload the server, or whatever, blah. And then it'll uh, make it so that un when you do undo, it doesn't actually work with AWE, just a normal world edit undo. And I said just keeping all the commands. These are all the commands in World Edit. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. See you later. <coughs>